well dear friends this is an interesting course interesting and very relevant for the industry uh, this is about financial analysis and you'll be talking specifically about the financial analysis of energy conservation projects and solar projects i am sure that with this course you would be equipped with the financial analysis tool and independently you would be in a position to do the financial analysis of any energy audit project or any solar project so what is this course about so the course would be to grab your attention from the very start about the methods the tools which are used in financial analysis and we won't be simply covering the theory about the financial analysis we would be focusing on specific problems problems of analysis economic analysis of energy audit projects and solar projects that would help us in a better understanding of this financial analysis course and we have scheduled this course in a series of lectures uh, the introductory lecture is about uh, or an overview of what do you mean by energy audit project and what you are expecting from a solar project and then we will be moving to the specific specific terms like the financial analysis terms like simple payback period internal rate of return and all those after covering all these methods of analysis we would be then talking about some case studies some numericals which would revise these concepts and also help you internalize these concepts so that you would be independently able to do the financial analysis so as i said the outcome of this course is you would be in a position to independently assess the energy audit and solar proposals on your own i mean to say without the need of any auditor without the need of any finance guy okay and these are very simple but powerful tools which you would be learning like simple payback period method the net present value method the internal rate of return with method all these terms which involves interesting concepts we would be simplifying for you people so why the first question which would arise in our mind is why do we go for financial analysis the reason is very obvious that any technical project be it a solar thermal project or a solar photovoltaic project it would involve significant investments so when a person is investing lot of money in say let us say buying a solar water heating system or a solar photovoltaic lighting system he would obviously be concerned about whether the investment which he or she is making is worth it so financial analysis along with the energy analysis helps a investor and investor a consumer to take proper decisions regarding his investment his or her investment i mean to say similarly when you are doing an energy audit in an industry and we come with a proposals like uh, let's say replace the lighting system with more efficient lighting system or replace the compressor of the system with a more efficient one or replace a one type of boiler with other type of boiler and so on so these projects are also very capital intensive so whether to take whether to invest whether to leave up is an economical decision so along with the broader goal of saving energy or shifting towards renewables which would help the environment no doubt uh, irrespective of the economics uh, this financial analysis is also very crucial to be done before making an investment i'm not saying that if a project is financially unviable we should not go for it i'm simply saying that this method of financial analysis helps you better decision making so one might say that okay it is financially unattractive but yet because i am concerned about the environment i am concerned about this planet i will be going for uh, let us say purchasing a solar water heater or replacing my entire consumption with solar pv all this okay so irrespective of financial analysis one might take a decision but helps financial analysis does help in decision making 
Now, what is the energy audit? Energy audit, energy audit projects basically aim for reduction either in the electricity bill or in the energy bill or both. By energy bill, I'm I'm using a separate term energy, though we would also call electricity as energy. By energy bill, I mean, for example, if there is an industry which consumes furnace oil, along with electrical energy, so. Uh, a particular proposal of energy auditor would say that okay if you go and invest in so and so you are fuel oil furnace oil consumption would be reduced so this is called as a reduction in energy bill or if you are replacing a particular hvac system with an efficient hvac system that might help in the reduction in the electricity bill so this way energy bill and electricity bill are different so energy audit projects which uh, the certified accredited energy audit firms they do they aim for reduction in energy bill and reduction in electricity bill and this energy audit projects involve lot many things uh, there's the three of the projects are listed over here but they are not limited to three there are number of energy audit projects uh, i have listed three of them for example one might go and do a compressed air system audit and recommend uh, methods and investment so that the system would consume less electricity. One might go and audit a HVAC system, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system. And one might suggest something, some proposals for reducing the electricity consumption of HVAC system. There could be an illumination audit, which would aim specifically to reduce the lightning load. Okay, so all these would be coming under energy audit projects. So just this just gives you an idea or overview of an energy audit project. And as I said, this energy audit projects involve many industries. So you might be doing an audit for a hospital, for a hotel industry, for a process industries, uh, commercial establishments, so many applications. And there, whenever we are doing energy audit, it is worth doing also a financial audit. So this we need to keep in mind that along with the energy audit or essentially along with the energy audit, we need to do a financial audit, financial analysis in order to ensure that our investments are also economically viable. The energy audit reports primarily would include uh, the, uh, the data, the data in the form of the present energy consumption and the present energy costs. And it would include the possibilities of interventions to save energy. And as I said, it would include the investments to be made. And finally, at the end of this lecture series, you would be in a position to also include the financial analysis of energy saving proposals. So that would be very interesting kind of analysis, which has to be, which would be going into a value addition to your energy audit report. Similarly, you would be in a position to justify the investments going in solar projects, massive solar water heating projects, or a massive solar photovoltaic projects. This is especially for industrial applications, but even for a domestic application as a consumer, one might be interested in knowing what is the financial cost and what is the financial analysis of investing in solar water heating and solar PV projects for domestic lighting. Okay, so this is basically an overview of why this course has been launched. And I'm sure that this would help you. This must have triggered the interest in this financial analysis. And the next forthcoming videos would be learning about the financial analysis tools and then we'll be taking some case studies interesting case studies so that you internalize this very very clearly thank you very much bye for now